Ah, it's Tommy Hooper! Except there's no chainsaws. And no clowns, despite the deceptive uh, poster art. Oh, and uh, also, there's nothing good about this movie either. Hi, I'm Jack, and I'm reviewing The Fun House. Yeah, so this movie is directed by the director of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Poltergeist. So, you know, anyone without a knowledge of that director's other films might go in thinking, hey, this is going to be a good movie. Especially with the deceptive poster art, which shows a clown, which makes you think it's going to be something like It, or even Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is literally one of the worst horror films I've ever seen in my life. And I mean that as in, it's not only bad just as a film, but it's also bad because you can't laugh at it. That's very bad. Ugh. I mean, it's just plain terrible. There's no redeeming qualities about this movie. Well, actually there's one. There's a guy named Kevin Conway. And he's like this freak show barker, and uh, he's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, this movie's just boring. It's just boring. There's nothing fun about this movie at all. No, the Fun House is terrible. I mean, seriously, you want a movie to laugh at with your friends? Don't pick the Fun House. The Fun House is stupid. It's awful. It's not fun to laugh at. You can't laugh at it. It's just plain terrible. Oh, uh, headache. Just think about this movie it gives me a headache. Yeah, this movie's terrible. It, completely boring. I could sit here and rant for an hour about how bad this movie is, but I'll condense it into about one or two minutes. Okay, first off, what in the world were they thinking not getting anything to happen until like 45 minutes in? Yeah, this movie's about an hour and a half long. It means it takes half the movie for anything to happen. I mean, seriously, Toby Hooper, you got things started right away in Poltergeist. You got things started right away in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You just forget how to make a movie. Okay, next up, the acting. Terrible. Like, seriously, except for that Kevin Conway guy, he was really funny. Everyone else just terrible. Absolutely terrible, 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 terrible. Terrible. And seriously, whoever played the monster, what were you doing? I mean, you know, just what were you doing? Oh my gosh. Seriously, some of the worst overacting I've ever seen. You didn't even have any lines. I mean, really? The deaths? What's up with the deaths? They're just ridiculous. I mean, yeah, that's the only word for it. They're just ridiculous. I'm not even going to say spoilers, because no one should watch this movie. It's terrible. Anyway, so this guy backs up when everything in the fun house turns on, and a noose comes down out of the ceiling, wraps around his neck without his noticing, and then pulls him up and strangles him. Uh, another girl, she goes chasing after him when he goes by in this little cart, and they accidentally plant an axe in his head like morons. Anyway, she goes chasing after him and she falls through a trap door. It just happens to open and he can't just fall down because they try to get into it to go after her. What, they just have perfect timing? Were they watching everything? Why didn't they just take a gun and shoot every one of them? <sighs> See, this is why Toby Hooper is not going down as a great director in film history. He has no range. This is like a stupider two-bit version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's really, really bad. It's just, it's bad. I keep saying it, it's just bad. Uh, you know, let's just go, um, bang our heads against the wall, okay? That would be fun. It'd be more fun than watching The Fun House. It'd be more fun. This movie's so boring that during the movie, I had to get up and go to the bathroom, so I paused it, went to the bathroom, and then I got on the computer for half an hour before I remembered that I was watching The Fun House. That's bad. You know, any movie, you should be like, alright, I'm going to go to the bathroom, I hate to pause it, but I have to go to the bathroom, I'll come right back and I'll watch the movie. <laughs> oh, holy crap. What were they thinking? Alright then, Funhouse, you've invoked my anger. I will now, uh... You know, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just angry. Darn it! can't believe I just wasted an hour and a half of my life on this movie. Why did I do it? Oh! It's terrible! It's awful! If you ever get this movie, you know, someone should pay you to get the movie. It's like, ugh, I have the fun house in my collection. I don't want this. Hey, I'll give you a dollar for this. I'll, I'll give you a dollar if you take this movie. The fun house is absolutely horrible. I will give it this, 
It's not quite as bad as Exorcist 2. <laughs> That's the biggest praise I can give it. <laughs> Alright, so Kevin Conway was funny. They are all alive. These are creatures of God, people, not creatures of man. And they are alive. Okay, so he was funny, so I'll give the funhouse a 2 out of 10. I am being surprisingly generous. You had better count your blessings, the funhouse. I could have ripped you a new one. Oh, so that's my review of the funhouse. Just have a good day by not watching this, please.